There's one heck of a lag going on here. But, welcome to the live. It's uh, another one of these talky talky videos. Excuse the fan. It's hot down here right now. It has been a scorcher lately. But as you see, I have had a problem now. I have to rescue Rosewater. If you've followed my Twitter, you've seen that uh, Rosewater has been stuck on one computer. Yeah, it went down. Uh, power supply went out on my computer my father gave me. So, now I'll be changing it from that one to a new one I got. New touchscreen. That's the issue with that one. But the issue is, because the power supply went out, we will be doing the Write With Me a little different. Because of a lot of other things also. Uh, from the past, Write With Me. Why don't you go away? Go away. Come on. Go away. Function currently available. We know. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Stop bringing all this stuff up. Anyway, I'm not going to use that computer in a moment. Um, but because of the last live, there will not be music. Oh, my God. When I was linking all of the videos to the music that was attached with them from the last... Uh, Live, it was it wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth it. Um, I had some 20, 30 songs on there, and each and every one I had to tag each piece of each one because sometimes the songs would change between the uh, the clips. So I'd have one song there, another song. Uh, it was it was a nightmare. Trying to link all of them. Just not worth it. So we won't be doing that with music. Uh, not unless I uh, make a whole bunch more music myself. And it's actually my music. Then I can... It'd be worth it. <laughs> it was not worth it. Uh, anyway, so for this time during the lives, uh, it's just going to be... Mostly me doing computer repair at the moment. Uh, hopefully, by the end of there, uh, uh, by the end of two hours, it should be. Uh, it should be able to give you an update on Rosewater from where I've gotten to. Because that's another thing. I was in the middle of uh, finishing it when my book, my computer went down. Usually, how it happens, isn't it? I'm actually starting to notice that's a trend uh, as I've add more and more writers on uh, TikTok and YouTube and all my other social medias. Things like that happen. And these computers just go down left and right or you delete a whole chapter or you erase the entire book, you know. <laughs> I've seen it all so far. It's, it's a tumbling and it makes me feel like I'm not alone in this uh, journey here. So, once again, every 20 minutes, I'm going to start a timer. Everyone. I'm mostly going to be talking gibber. Tech gibberish, maybe? Gibberish to some people, tech for others. I might turn that down, actually. Now I think about it. Might be too loud. One moment. Oh, yeah, not so bad. Okay. I'm wearing headphones this time so I can monitor me, so I can know how close I am to the mic, how far away I am. Because that also gave me a problem. I might just want to get one of those lapel mics that I'm seeing a lot of uh, creators have. You can just hear yourself directly. But, uh, yeah, mostly going to be a bunch of tech jargon until I can get the actual hard drive emptied onto this computer because not only was Rosewater on there the entirety of Jishime Havoc LLC was on there <laughs> but it's okay it's backed up in multiple different locations but uh I was kind of trying to build it up on this computer so everything had to do with voice acting all my uh recordings from that anything had to do with music most of that 
except for anything new, wildfire, that's not on there, but everything else is, uh, anything that had to do with merchandise, bookmarks, anything, everything that had anything to do with G-Sean went down. And that's why I was hoping turning off and turning back on would work, but it's not. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It also only ran by uh, being plugged in. Well, that must have sounded loud. Yeah, which is terrible. Uh, oh, my buddy, my buddy, my buddy. Now, the other thing is I'm trying to figure out uh, SAT or IDE because I have two external hard drives. Ones that say SATA and one's IDE. Not branding that, but yeah. Uh, those will be very, very important. Yeah. Well, we can go ahead and go to, uh, I guess, writing for some building brothers.
Ha! We have entered. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, I went over a bit. I know it was 20, 20 uh, minutes, but we have accessed all of G Sean Maverick. It's like I've done this before. Oh my gosh. I have. Um, now I have two computers on external hard drives. Yay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hope I put this one on one. Yeah, man. So if he recognizes the reggae mix. Anyway, I'm back. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I also found rose water, found the t-shirts, the mugs, everything. You, you name it. My old recordings. Voice acting, everything. ACX checker, G, uh, snap. Uh, voice, uh, pitch, finder, all that. I, uh, I've got it all. Uh, even cap cuts on here. Anybody else knows cap cut this decided to suck out of nowhere? Like, I'm gonna, my videos are gonna take even longer because I have to, one, either find a, uh, captioning software, the one that just does captions. Because CapGuard said, uh, we're going to charge you uh, $89 a year for that. Why? We could just, we can go get an actual video editor software for our laptops and computers. Why do we need to pay for CapCut? Subscription? That's a one-time fee for the other. Whatever. So either I have to find that or do each and every one of my captions individually. Uh, uh. Yeah, that's cap cut for you. Uh. Okay, so we were able to get rose water. Everything seems to be intact. Uh, I guess that video was a little uh, too intense for the uh, situation. It literally only took 20 minutes, but still, hey. Got you guys in here. Oh, I should probably see who's actually in here. Now I can actually interact and actually, you know, pay attention in here and see who's there, because I've got two phones on. Oh, whatever. Okay, so, you know, it won't be so much tech jargon, I guess, for the next what, hour and a half. So, uh, where are we? Oh, um, the, is the issue I ran to last was a uh, developmental editing, remember? Uh, having run into a lot of issues with a lot of editors, so I just said, screw it, and I'm going to learn how to do it myself and do it myself, and not really worry about it. After all, Erotica does not have to have a concrete plot to fit to. You know what you're here for. But I still would like mine to have one. I'm about to open up my uh, desktop as well. Excuse me. Okay, okay. alright. I'm going to open my desktop as the other. Okay, and right now I'm... Hmm. Okay, I've changed it into two different copies. The original copy and now I'm going to call as alpha copy. I also have another audience file. Because every time I go through my uh, book and I comb through it, I ask again and talk to uh, more critiques about what my audience actually is for this. And it keeps changing minutely, minutely, minutely. Um, from the beginning, this the, the audience was like two sentences, but now it's got like a good two-page explanation on who my audience actually is. And it gets more and more in-depth uh, through the uh, each chapter I go through. It helps with advertising. That's 
Not later down the line. That's, that's, that's on the door. Knocking right on the door. Okay, so right now. Ah, uh, okay. More trappers than I expected. Hey. That's what this one's today. That was what today was for. That is what today was for. Okay, at least she was rescued. Now I have to put, since this is a completely new computer, I have to put Word back on this computer. <laughs> so I can't quite jump into it right now. I can back it up. I'll probably back it up first and then get Word on my computer. All right, so while I'm doing that, we'll do another sprint. Remind yourself, please back up your book and novels and pieces in Quark, I don't know, as many times as you possibly can. This, I mean, it's, it's backed up right now. Just once, I'm going to back it up on this computer, the cloud. It's always going to be on that hard drive, but I'm going to probably put it back on the original hard drive. I don't know. Right now, it's, I'm just protecting it. <laughs> uh. Protect your work, people.
Alright, so I have now someone almost backed up. I realized that there was a little bit of coding there. It's fine, I don't really think there's any people who care, whatever. Uh but so far I've gotten my photo editor on here. I'm I think I've got Audacity now. I still have to put all the plugins on it. And then I have to get my word out of my email. Oh my gosh. Install updates, please. That's another thing. Audacity, Audacity comes with majority of uh, file types, but it doesn't come with M4A, which is what uh, BandLab. BandLab, their files come out, their stems, they come out in the M4A. So, you might want to update your Audacity if you haven't already for those who do music, more so those who do voice acting. Another thing I've noticed, music, sound, uh, music sounds a lot better through BandLab. It really does. Don't know why, but it sounds amazing. Audacity well, has to do a lot more work to it to get it to sound at all like BandLab. It might just be user error. Like I said, still kind of a newbie. I like how fast this computer goes. Everything uploads so quickly. Oh. Yeah, updates are done. Once in all that's okay. But I uh just have to put the Audacity checker plugin and a bunch of other plugins for the voice acting side of things. So as of right now, it's slow going. Very slow going. Yeah. Uh, which office am I upload? Ah. Uh. I also don't have on here. Notepad plus plus programming. It's very good, you know, off the cuff programmer. If you don't have a Visual Studio, those who do uh, web design, nice off the cuff programmer. I know some people are just like, I'll just open up a text document, but I am good. Y'all can go on ahead and program from your. Uh, two sticks and make a fire if you like. But <laughs> uh, if you happen to know a better one other than Noplay Plus Plus, I would love to know. Another free one, because right now I am not in the mood for buying another Visual Studio. Ugh. I probably need to. I need a whole bunch of different environments. I think I've already got a couple environments on here. And I know I've got WAMP server, which gives me Apache, PHP, and all that, but, uh, who did I need? I need a Python environment. So if you happen to know a good Python environment, that would also be very helpful. Looks like that computer went down before I was able to download my notepad. Really? Really? Wow, I was just building that computer up. <laughs> yeah. Again, those waiting on the newsletter, it's still coming, I promise you. <laughs> it will come. If you build it, they will come. If you have the capability of building it, they will come. <laughs> Probably dated myself by using Notepad++. People are like, 
What? That's what my grandpa used to use. Oh, yeah, back in the day. I remember back when MySpace would let us program. I had the sparkliest profile. It would do the blingy blingy thingy. <laughs> <laughs> That, you know, just give me the newest. I don't know y'all crazy old one. Wow. I have to admit it. Metal Pat's been through some stuff. <laughs> Whoa. I think I've got Wimp. Anybody who ever, if you, uh, once again, I'm guessing it's gonna be tech, more tech than word, um, and then writing. But anyone who's using Wimp right now, uh, best bet for you when it comes to usage wise, go to an earlier version. I'm gonna be using 1.7. I know that's bad version, it's an old version of Wimp, but 1.7. You don't have to go through so much uh, certifications, I guess, just to connect to MySQL at all. Ugh. It's disgusting the amount you have to go through now with the 2.0. I was like, I, I went through four or five tutorials on YouTube on trying to use WAMP 2.0. Garbage. Completely. No, couldn't. Couldn't get through. Nobody could figure it out. Nobody was using Well, some people are using it now. There's probably like some minute piece that they did not say which is this part that sucks the most about it because somebody can miss one little piece and it'll work on their screen but it sure won't work on yours because they forgot to tell you you need to uppercase or lowercase something or oh the mind's go up first. anyway the 1.7 is okay use it and then you can update it to, to, to today's so you'll go the back way you update all the, the plugins. Don't update the software. Update all the plugins. The Apache, um, they, all the uh, the PHP, all of them. You you update those. Don't update WAMP. <laughs> Big mistake. What does that say? Update packages available. I'm not sure why not. Okay, so we've got this one. Right now, I have not had a problem out of Notepad++ Plus Plus with any updates whatsoever. It even works on my phone. My phone. If you're not using a keyboard and mouse on your phone yet, get, get, hold up. <laughs> and this will help the writers out there, um, for real. Like when you run into a situation where your computer is down and you've got absolutely nothing. Get you one of these. USB-C to USB. <laughs> I am telling you. Oh. Ah. Now you got to do then. Get you a nice keyboard and a wire, Bluetooth keyboard and a wireless mouse. Plug your boy in. Plug it into your phone and you've got a full keyboard on your cell phone. Lifesaver. Complete lifesaver. But you see, mine's over there for some reason. Well, why is you putting yours over there, Ontario? Why aren't you using yours now, huh? What's up, huh? I have a problem with every aspect of Jishon Maverick. <laughs> ah! The power ports on both my cell phones have 
they only use one cord and they will not use that right now and they won't use any other uh charging cord at the moment i have to get them all repaired all of them repaired ah! and i took this one to the store and you know what you just got to sometimes you got to strong arm people when you walk in there because i was like the power cord is not working. He's like, it'll work, it'll work. It goes in the back, cleans it out, I guess, with the Q-tip and bubble gum. Comes back to me and take it back home. Once again, broke. So we're going to have to go back there. I'm just going to have to either find another person or tell him, I said it wasn't going to work. I'm thinking about either just bringing the mouse up there and showing him, it don't work. Thank you. <laughs> ah. That's another issue you run into, into the tech world. No matter who you are, you know nothing. Remember that. Just that'll help you a lot. Yeah. <laughs> like, you could have a degree in what you're what they're talking about. Don't matter. You know nothing because they got it behind their counter. It, you can't jump over the counter and grab it. So until then, you know nothing. I think I got my baby. I think I got my baby. She might not. I had to put it on the desktop. Yes, I do. All right, let's see if I can go ahead and move her. Once again, being stupid and acting stupid. Totally different thing. You pretend to get to where you need to be. I guess another trick I learned. Oh yeah. Pen to start. Thank you. Very important. But that's another trick I learned. Um, like a friend of mine, we would go whenever we went shopping. If ever we needed help, I realized I'm a guy. Most places won't help guys, but they will help a woman that looks lost. So I'll just walk 20 feet away from my female friend and. Uh, Tell her to look lost. Works every time. Somebody, somebody comes and tries to help her. Okay, man, put it on the desktop. I'd like to see it. I might have to, re I might have to uh, restart. I'm trying to do as many updates as possible without restarting, but your computer starts acting wonky if you don't restart between every software update. But the issue is every time you restart between every software update, it restarts slower and slower because you have to go into the, setup, the startup menu and remove everything from on startup. Another tip. If you install a whole bunch of software onto your computer at one time, or it's been a while before you, I mean, it's been a while um, since you uploaded software onto your computer, you know, and your computer's just been going slow, take everything out of the on startup menu. You could have 40 applications running in the background at the same time. And then next thing you know, boom, the heat sink on your laptop's gone and your computer's running slow, which is another thing. You know, you're supposed to, okay, let me, let me, I gotta say this slowly so that when I'm, cut this that it'll choose this spot yeah okay I'm back I guess every hour you gotta jump off or it'll uh kick you off. So I was in the middle of uh, saying, I don't know if it caught it or not, but every two years you're supposed to put a new heat sink on your laptop in order to speed your laptop up. 
Eh. Just then you know. If it if it got cut off. Ugh. Uh looks like we're gonna have to start the the uh the sprint over because the last stop three minutes into it. Um it's okay. We'll add them together, I guess. Okay, uh, let me go ahead and delete this one. Okay. Just making sure. I, I was bouncing back and forth, so I didn't know when the live stopped. I'm glad I was there. I went back during this the pause of the sprint to actually check and see. Um, I just got a notepad on. I'm trying to figure out which word, because... I went to uh, archive.com where you can go to get pretty much any software. Uh, you can go get your, if you're going to school and you need a software for class, that's a nice place to go. You get a lot of software for your, your classes. Um, but the issue is they won't have pin numbers. You can get your pins offline for like seven or eight dollars though. And that's what I did with my word. I got a seven dollar pin offline and went and got the software from uh, archive.com. But the issue was matching them. <laughs> like this one, home, window, uh, Windows, home, professional, blah, business, student, blah, 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 Make sure you get all the letters right and all the numbers right. But yeah, once you do all that, it is not as expensive to build a whole software set up here. Ugh. Uh, what else was I talking about that might have been cut off? I thought, um, hmm. I'm not fixing my laptop. Uh, I I'm hoping we did get to the USB and the cell phone. Have a full keyboard writer. Very important. Uh, also, uh, those uh, the car mounts to mount to your windshield, mount your cell phone to your windshield. They work for everywhere, everywhere. So if you're at, you know. Barnes and Noble or something, and you don't have your laptop, but you need to write. Yeah, just take it out of your car, pop it right on the table. It'll stand up and hold your phone, and you can type right onto it. Do 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 do. Boom. Okay. Um. What else do we got? I don't think there's any more tips I'm giving out on there. Um. At the moment. Yeah, I think we're good to go ahead and go for the next riding sprint. I think this is the last. No, this might be the last riding sprint. Okay, we started at eleven thirty. Okay, now we're going on another hour. Okay, another hour. That is right. We did just it did just turn off. Okay, and we're going ahead and uh, let's see who that was. Make sure I didn't lose connection again. Okay, we good. Yeah, make sure I didn't go. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm going to go back to trying to figure out which word I put on and uh, we'll do for another sprint, another 20 minutes. If you have your work you're working on, let's go.
Okay. Let me make sure everybody's still on here. Yay! Everybody's still alive. Okay, everybody's still alive. Everybody's still alive. We're good. We're good. We're good. Somebody. Anyway, uh, we are good. Uh, so far, what I have figured out. Uh, I haven't figured it out. This this was when you go get your ACX checker. Uh, you should realize that uh, you should close your Audacity before uh, reopening it to see if it's even in there. But another thing I did learn was that Audacity's noise floor is lower than normal, and it'll say it's wrong even though it's not. But I've actually learned to make it so it says pass every time all three checks i haven't been running into that problem with the noise noise floor issue um it might be an issue might be why i'm not getting gigs i don't know i've been running into that issue uh but i've been running through that issue uh because oh because another thing that other people people have been telling people um uh what was the big thing uh to to uh run to it let me run to it i'll go go to it so i can see it while i can say it somebody i have to not say any songs at all even though they're stuck in my head <laughs> the for you page is some anyway <laughs> uh do 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 okay yeah uh after compressing your vocals uh so people say compress them over and over and over and over. You can compress it up, you know, 20, 40. You can compress it a lot of times and still not hit it. Like, I've, the first time I was trying to compress my audio to try to fit into the ACX check, I did it like 20 times. I know at least 16. And it only moved like little bits at a time going by the uh, the tutorial that I was watching. It would move one little iota at a time. It was... Slow me down. Uh, another thing I noticed that you can do, uh, but after you compress, uh, normalize. That also helps a lot. Uh, but the issue, and the other thing is uh, volume and pitch. That's another issue that comes in that gets in a lot of the area. Uh, running it through a bandpass filter, low pass or high pass, depending on how what you, uh, your vocal recording was like. You gotta listen to yourself a little bit there to fix it. You can't really just, you know, like, oh, I'll do this, and it'll always work. Do this, and it'll always work. No, if you are screaming into your microphone, run that through a high-pass filter. You know what I mean? Or have, once again, the cord that goes in the two uh, ports that allows you to cut out the highs and the um, lows. Well, separate the highs from the lows. Uh, I still have to get that cord, by the way. Once again, that's on the voice acting side, not so much on the musician side, but the musicians could use it, especially if you're doing like screamo and things of that nature. Anyway, uh, yes, uh, da, 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 da. noise removal, whatever. Okay, I was just uh, I was plugging more in, plugging more of my uh, ACX checker plugins in. I was doing that. Uh, the other one, I have to go through another tutorial. Because uh, not all your ACX, oh, not all your ACX, not all your Audacity plugins are gonna have uh, are gonna go through the Nyquist installer. Some of them are gonna go through Dills, DLL, and so you have to actually just copy and paste those into the folder, and they'll show up that way. But I have to go back to the tutorial to figure out which folder to paste them into. Yeah, it's gonna take a bit, but it's good that I actually started this. Yeah, uh, I still I did not find the WAMP, but I've changed hard drives. Uh, I think it's running. Yeah, it's running. I've changed hard drives, so hopefully that one will have my copy of WAMP 1.7. I'm not gonna walk you through that one, but it's way more simple. In all the tutorials, okay, I can't say. Oh, hold up, hold up. Wait a minute. The tutorials that I ran into worked. Uh, hey, actually, since it's gonna be. A later video, as you've noticed, I take the videos, chop them up with uh, the uh, Vizard, the website Vizard. Not a not a sponsor, just uh, something I like using right now. And I might actually get the professional version, depending how. Because I'm not. I'm sorry. I, I guess it's because I'm a millennial, 
I'm not paying for the software yearly what or monthly. What what is this? Is this from Xbox or PlayStation? That's what y'all do on that's what y'all been doing. Is that what y'all been doing? <laughs> no. No, I, I'm I'm a one and done type of guy. I'm not paying for it over and over and over and over and over. It's the same soft it's the same software. What's no. But if it's a one time fee, I'll go ahead and get Fizzard, but if not the free will just work, I don't care. But cap cut, I cut the end off and leave the uh the visitor stamp on it. The visitor stamp even goes through Snapchat. Snapchat doesn't even see it, which is great, but it's terrible because it can see mine. It can see a, a TikTok snap, uh, TikTok stamp, but it can't see the visitor stamp. Weird. That's okay until it stops, because later on they're probably gonna update it. That's another thing. I cannot get through the Snapchat friggin' algorithm to save my life. What is wrong with that algorithm? I have been flagged for anything on that thing. I understand they said that it's actually a lot more younger viewers on there, but I'm not aiming at the viewers. I'm aiming at the creators. <laughs> they're the actual older ones. But that's the issue. The younger ones, I'm guessing, they're still the rent. The algorithm is still very young and it's still very new. They just now got their AI running relatable. It's not even connected to the internet. It's it's a network only AI, so it knows nothing. It's interesting. Um, but yeah, so you know that algorithm is uh, it is a whole new monster. I get flagged for anything, absolutely anything. I got flagged for having a cigar in a video there was no cigar in. I guess my finger. I don't know, but still. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, just, just, just that algorithm. I know everybody else is probably having the same problems with that algorithm. Uh, YouTube has been, I've only been flagged for music on YouTube. Conduct, I guess, is a little more free there. Uh, Facebook, Facebook does not care. I don't think you, I, I'm, I don't, can you be flagged on Facebook? I don't think it's possible. You find somebody that's been flagged, let me know. I want to see what they did. Because, um, nah, nothing. They're not even flagging the music. I'm like, some, like one or two times I would accidentally forget to tag the artist in the song. I mean, in the video that was in the, yeah, whose song was in the video. Um, I would go back and delete it and then tag them. But sometimes I'd send it and just go right through it. I'm like, that's not supposed to happen. But that's Facebook. <laughs> oh man. And another thing, Twitter. Uh, I'm I'm wanting to get on their algorithm, but now they allow triple X content, so I'm like I don't think I have a problem with that. But the thing is I'm gonna I'm gonna disappear in that algorithm. You allow the beginning of the internet onto the algorithm? <laughs> For those who don't know, the beginning of the internet was mostly uh Triple X content. <laughs> Any order, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, this is, this is, G. Sean Maverick has been a hoot and a half just to start. Hoot and a half. Uh, uh, and I think I've still got 10, 15 years of this to do. At first I was just gonna do 10, but you know, now I'm noticing that getting your feet, just getting started, is getting any sort of traction. It takes five to seven years. And I was like, really? Cause that's another thing. You look at these newer TikTokers and the clickbaity TikTokers, you're like, you can do this in a year. You can do this in six months. You can do this in two minutes. But no, no, no. You're not getting any real traction to five to seven years. And then you, you uh, another thing I was told, uh, you got to know why you're here in order to stay here. So if you blow up, let's say you do blow up in the first uh, one or two years, you got to know why you're here in order to stay here. So if you don't have a reason to be famous, you won't be famous. It'll be 15 minutes of fame. Peace. Have a reason to be there and then stick to it. I have a reason. I have a couple. I have too many. It's another issue. 
But there's no therapist for that. You know, there's like therapists everywhere. Anyway. Uh, do 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 do. Okay. Uh, this is gonna be the last sprint. Um, and then I'm gonna sign off and go do something totally different. Um, but uh, as I said before, there are therapists everywhere. Another thing that I'm actually big on is mental health, and. Right now, I don't have a direct thing I'd like to plug, but your local uh, municipality or city will have some sort of mental health area for therapy or psychiatry. I'd first consider looking at uh, the definition of a therapist and a psychiatrist before approaching a therapist or a psychiatrist. Just... uh FYI, that'll help you a lot more because if you go to a therapist for things you need a psychiatrist for, not going to help you. But you can go to a psychiatrist for things you need a therapist for, but it's going to be more expensive. So <laughs> aim aim uh, accordingly. <laughs> All right. 20 minutes print starting now.
Okay, so while we were going through that, um, right now, this is my purple pink. I know you hear me talking. This is my purple pink toe. Yes, it's a pink toe tarantula, but it's rare and its toes are supposed to be purple. It still hasn't done its final shed to give me the final color yet. Right now, it's, it's pretty much bluish, a little black. I was expecting it to come out a little bit when I had a little bit of onion to get it to come out. But uh, I guess she's still hiding, which is fine. She needs a nun, uh, name. That's the reason I brought her out. So I was supposed to name her last Halloween, but this Halloween's coming up, so I might as well show her. Um, but if you can think of a name, uh, put it in the comment section below or message it. Either way. I would love to give her some sort of name. But the kitty that came on me and well came the kitty that came and stepped on me and then drooled on me. That's drool. Yeah, that, that name is Shadow. Oh, when it's your time to shine, you disappear. <laughs> but uh yes, Shadow. Uh new rescue we got. Um Oh, well, I, I guess she's like, oh, you're not playing with me? I'm going to go away. She's a drooler, but... And shedding. It's time to brush her like for real. Ugh, I used to... I have fur everywhere. <laughs> uh, but uh, I think I found my version of Wamp I like to use. Uh, it's not 2.0. Uh, that's the one that's the problem. I think it's the 4.0 that's the problem right now because the WAMP server I'm looking at is 3.26 and I was looking to see if there was any other WAMP server on here. I was pretty sure I was using 1.7 but it says 3.26. I'm gonna install it and see if it works or not. It may not be the right one. I'm pretty sure it was 1.7 the one I was using. But that's the oldest laptop. The newest one, I don't know if I even got WAMP on it before it went down. But that's my web server. Uh, web environment. That's not the server. That's the environment for my website to practice and build in. It's my sandbox. If you're all, if you're trying to build your own website, I start there. That's all the, the pieces and plugins you need. Um, uh I guess that's it. I have rescued Rosewater. It is available and I will be able to actually finish it. Because that was absolutely terrifying when it went down and I didn't have a computer to put it on. And once again, it took, that was comically long to put a hard drive into a hard drive. It took that was comically long to put a hard drive into a hard comically long to put a hard drive into a hard